Hello everybody, Mr. Sticksman here, and today we're gonna blow stuff up. Go! Whoa! That's right, today is all about making explosions using marbles. This is going to be so much fun. And guys, if you'd like me to do more videos a bit like this, where we try different challenges, maybe some satisfying videos as well, let me know in the comments down below. Give me your ideas as well. I'd love to hear from you all. I read every single comment. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're really enjoying this sort of content. Anyway, let's get on with the video now and make some explosions. And yes, later on, we are actually going to blow up a banana. All right, let's get on with it. So we're going to click on decorations down here, go into shapes, and then get the cylinder out. Okay, so that is the large plastic shape cylinder thing here, right? Let's put that down there, and we're going to select it and just move it up so we can see the whole thing. Now, the next thing we're going to do is paint it and make it transparent, right? So we'll just get that clear thing there, and there we go. Now we can see inside and through our cylinder. Now, the reason why I've chosen this is because you can actually fill up this thing from the inside with marble. So if we get a spawner next, and we're going to go to this one right here, and just chuck it on the top, doesn't really matter where it goes. We'll just put it there for now. And if we just drop a few marbles in, look at that, they're not falling out at all. So they are trapped inside the cylinder. Just hold down the spawn button here, and fill this thing up right to the top. And yeah, but you can basically put in as many marbles as you want. Although, of course, the more you put in, the more strenuous it becomes for the computer as well. So <laughs> we'll do the best we can here. But uh, at the moment, we have 1,200 marbles and it's still increasing, of course. We'll take it right up to the top and then I'll explain what we're going to do next. There we go. So now that is completely full right up to the top, right? But I haven't put any extra marbles in. Now at the bottom here, what's happening is these marbles are getting really compressed because the marbles above are weighing down onto them and sort of, you know, squeezing them all together. And that's really how we're going to create these explosions. But of course, we want that sort of energy and a lot more throughout the whole cylinder. So what we're going to do is actually spawn even more in, right? So we've got uh, 2,200 marbles in at the moment. So I reckon we're going to go up to 3,000. And there we are. I'm still spawning them in. And we should start to see these ones up the top moving more and more and more as we get more marbles into it. And there we go, the energy is really building up now, the pressure inside. All of these things are trying to get out as fast as they can. And we're just over 3,100 now in this cylinder here, right? So if I just delete our spawner, there we go. These things are cooked up and ready to go. All you have to do now is delete the cylinder and all of the marbles should just blow everywhere. Three, two, one. One, go! Oh yes! Yes! Now that was pretty good. Now, of course, we are going to make bigger explosions, but that was not bad, right? That's a good starting point. Uh, we can certainly increase the pressure and get more marbles at the same time. If we just zoom out from here, Look how far the marbles have actually gone, and they're still expanding out in all directions. And in a minute, we might not be able to see them anymore because they're too far out. That's quite a powerful explosion, wasn't it, really? Anyway, let's go back to the center and see if we can make an even bigger one. So all I'm going to do is do Control z right? So we can sort of go back and just respawn in our cylinder just as it was before. And again, we can get the spawner back as well. So what we're going to do next is get 5,000 marbles into this cylinder. That's an extra 2,000 and see how big that explosion is. I'm going to fill it up to 5,000, guys. I'll be back with you in a minute when it's ready to go. There we are. So now we have more marbles than before. Nearly 4,000 at the moment. We will go to at least 5,000 this time. But uh, yeah, there we go. So the frames have just dropped because, of course, it's much harder for the computer to run this now because they're all crammed into that small space. And that's really the thing about this game as we pass 4,500 is that it's not just how many marbles you've got spawned in, but rather you know, where they are, what they're doing, and how closely compacted they are as well. There's so much pressure inside that cylinder. 5,000 marbles exactly. Now let's delete our spawner here. Now none of them have escaped. It is possible to put so much pressure in 
that some of them actually start to escape through walls and stuff. But luckily, we're okay at the moment. I'm just going to go a little bit slower. There we are, just so we can run this thing better. Right, you ready, guys? 5,000 marbles rammed into a cylinder, and we're about to explode it all. Three, two, one, go! Oh, yes! Look at that! That's incredible, isn't it? That is incredible. So cool. It's really good fun to do that. Unbelievable, guys. So that's 5,000. Now, I've got some ideas to add a bit more flavour to our explosions. I'm even going to blow up a banana later on and a melon. We're going to fill those full of marbles and uh, blow them up as well. But I've got a few interesting ideas before we get to that stage. So let's go and have a look at the next explosion right now. So here is our cylinder from before, but this time I'm actually going to make it a bit smaller, but we're going to have two of them. So we'll just cycle through with the one key here to get the scale feature. Um, and we'll go to about that kind of size, right? So I've reduced it by around five clicks there. And what we're going to do is Control c Control v and we'll get a second one in here just right next to it. Maybe a little bit of a gap in between, right? So like that, that'd be perfect. And we're going to fill these up. So because they're smaller, we can get even more pressure, perhaps, with less marbles. Let's use different colours as well to make it a bit more interesting visually as well. So we're going to select maybe pink in this one, right? And we'll just drop in loads of pink marbles. Of course, we are in slow motion right now. But uh, maybe I could speed it up, to be honest, to normal. There we go. Just about that. Keep spawning them in and fill up that cylinder. And I reckon it's going to be full at around a 1,000 marbles. So we'll just see how many we can cram in after that. Okay, so that's 1,000 and it's now completely full. Let's go to uh, 1,500, for example, because the pressure is going to be increasing greatly. Maybe 2,000, actually. I'm going to start at 1,500 and then uh, if we can, I'm going to increase it even more. But we'll just go over to this one now because we are running two separate explosions at the same time. And this time, I'm going to do the yellow. We'll just spawn those in as well. Guys, this is going to be so fun. <laughs> I can't wait to try this one out. Okay, so now that cylinder is full. And as we did 1,500 here, we're going to go to 3,000. So we have a total um, sort of roughly equal in each one. They won't be perfectly the same, but it doesn't really matter too much. There we go. 2, 9, and 3,021 in total. Okay, now what I'm going to do then is add 500 more to each one. And there we go, 4,041 in total. Let's get rid of our spawner. Now these things are ready to go, guys. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh, yes. Double kill. Yeah, look at that. So we've got a bit of a, a dividing line here between the pink and the yellow. And oh, that's brilliant. Look at that, that line down the middle colors look really good as well that was quite good pressure wasn't it i reckon we can get even more explosive power later on and speaking of more power i've got just the idea for that so let's go and check it out okay so this time we're gonna make an upwards explosion which kind of fires off into the sky and it should be a whole lot more powerful at the same time we're gonna use the same marble spawner here we'll just chuck that in and we're gonna rotate it this time so we're gonna cycle through with a one key to get the rotate button there we are and we'll just bring it like that so it's facing perfectly upwards then we're gonna move it up again like this that's perfect okay but now is where we change things up a bit because we're gonna go back into shapes and instead of the cylinder we're gonna use a sphere this time now the thing is the marbles don't actually go inside this sphere it's kind of like a solid object all the way through it's not hollow as far as I can tell but that's what's gonna help us here because we don't want them to go inside we want them to be blocked inside this spawner so we can spawn like thousands of marbles inside this tiny block here the sphere is only there to keep them inside that's all it's going to do but we can still make it transparent just so we can see what's going on right so we'll do that and here we are so if i just show you an example right now i'm going to hold down the button and we spawned in 75 marbles but look at that they're all in exactly the same tiny space down there so the energy here is much greater right than it was uh, in the cylinder because of how small that space is what we're going to do is spawn in a whole bunch more um let's try i don't know let's try like 500 to begin with because this could get pretty powerful okay oh no that okay they're escaping a bit 
A few of them have escaped, but I think most of them are still in there. 400, and oh no, some of them are coming out 500. Right, I'm going to pause the game. Not many have fallen out. That's pretty good. Um, but now I'm paused, I can spawn in even more, even while the game's paused, and they should stay in there. Okay, so that's 562. Let's get rid of our sphere. The game is still paused, so they're not going to go anywhere. They're not moving at all, but look at this inside. If I just take the camera inside here. Oh my goodness. Look at... Oh, whoa, I've never seen this before. Wow, look at that. There's so many in there. I mean, you know, we're going to double this in a minute, but that is pretty impressive, isn't it? For uh, 562 odd. That's amazing. <laughs> what a cool thing. Okay. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to we're going to keep the game paused, right? But we'll delete our spawner and there we go. There's just the marbles on their own so you can see them from all angles. That's what's going on inside. But actually for this explosion, we want to have the spawner there. So I'm going to put it back with control Z because what we want to do is have the explosion go upwards into the sky, right? And if we have this spawner in, the only way they can go is up, hopefully. Right, here we go then. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Yes! Yes, it works! Oh, look how high they're going. I'm just going to move the camera so we can see. If I pause the game here for a second, wow, look how high they've gone! So, if we start down here and move up through this explosion, that's incredible! And guys, we're going to double that in a minute. We're going to try a thousand marbles in a second. But look how high they've gone from that tiny block. Isn't that incredible? And if we just keep the game playing here, look at that, they're still going up. Now, there is gravity, so they will come back down in a minute. Let's see how high we can get. They're still going up at the moment. And there, there's the top. They're just about to sort of reach the top of that arc and go back down again. As you can see here, look, it's dropping. So that is pretty impressive, isn't it? For such a small block and only 500 marbles. The, uh, the power of this thing is immense. But now let's try it, guys, with a thousand marbles. Double. Come on. Oh, are we going to crash? We're going to crash. 999, a thousand. Right, pause, pause. Okay, three, two, one, go. Uh, oh my goodness, okay, okay, okay. That's a pretty big explosion. Nice. Okay, so next we're going to try another explosion, which is sort of vertical and going up into the sky, but it's going to be bigger on a much bigger scale. So if we go to tracks and straight, we're going to use a pipe this time, and then we'll try and rotate it so it's pointing towards the sky. There we go. We're going to block it off either end so we can spawn our marbles in and, of course, sort of, you know, not let any of them out until, <laughs> until we want to do the explosion. Let's go into decorations. We're going to choose one of these big boards here. Nothing should be able to get out or in down there. And just to be safe, we're actually going to increase the thickness of our board as well. So we just go to the scale tool and make that a bit thicker down there. That's perfect. And then, of course, we want another block on top as well, so no marbles can get out of the top. So we'll just Control c Control v and then chuck it up the top there. Next, we're going to paint it transparent, of course, so we can see what's going on inside. There we are. And now, of course, it's time to get the spawner in as well. Somewhere near the top, as long as it's kind of free underneath it, should be fine, to be honest. So again, as always, we're going to hold down this button, and there we go. It's actually in slow motion right now, so we can just speed that up a bit, perhaps. Check this out, guys. If you move the block, you can actually move the marbles with it, which is quite fun. And I have got plans for other videos where we actually do this sort of thing. I've got some ideas for that already, but we're not going to do that in this video. I think if you move it quickly, though, it's going to... Yeah, it's going to drop them through. Look at that. If you shake it, they'll drop through and fall out the bottom. So you have to move it quite slowly. But that is pretty good fun. So we're going to spawn in our marbles and wait till the pipe is full. Four thousand two hundred. That should do it. Now the idea here is that we just remove the uh, the panel or the block here at the top, right? And so there's nowhere else to go for the marbles then to go upwards and shoot out and hopefully explode into the sky, a bit like a giant firework. And look how much pressure we've got here. That's in slow motion. It's very tightly compact in there. Here we go. Then the moment of truth. Is it going to work as we hope? Three, two, one, go. Yes. Oh, good. That's good. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So not quite as powerful as I was hoping, but that is awesome. Oh, 
That is such good fun. I've got an idea to make this way more powerful and get all of the marbles out. So we're going to try that right now, guys. So here we are then with our blocks back on either end of the tube. Exactly the same setup, but we're going to add one more thing, which should make a whole lot of difference and a whole lot more power for this explosion. So we're going to go into uh, decorations and physics. There we are. We're going to get a booster pad and we're going to put it right into the center. And of course, we want the booster to be facing upwards. So there we go. That's perfectly lined up in there. But of course, that's quite small at the moment. So what we're going to do is get the scaling tool and expand it to be the size of the entire cylinder. We'll just make that much bigger. There we are. Then we'll try and move it up. I reckon we can get a bit more size in that as well. There we go. Move it up, and that is good. So the whole thing is now a booster pad. <laughs> now, of course, we're on power 20 at the moment, boost strength 20. Let's go full power. So we've got 50 in there. Right, here we go then. There's our marble spawned out. And of course, what I'm going to do now is actually get rid of that for a second and paint it. So our booster pad is also transparent and hopefully we can get rid of these arrows as well. Strangely, I can't actually get rid of these arrows, but I can get rid of the other ones. So that'll, that'll do. That's good enough, right? Okay, here we go. Then we're going to spawn in our marbles and we'll just increase the speed a bit. Oh my goodness. No, no. What's happening? Okay, okay. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Guys, this is really bad news. Now, let, let's just try some more and see what happens. Look how powerful the booster pad is. <laughs> It's so strong. They're going into the top block. Unbelievable. Right, I've got an idea for this. Okay, then. So I've got an idea. We're going to reduce the power of the booster pad to one just while we're filling it up. Okay, so we'll leave it there at one. And then what we'll do is turn it back up to full power when the marbles are in. That should be a much better solution for us. And hopefully none of them are going to get out or get into the blocks above and below. But that's looking pretty good so far, isn't it? That's going rather well at the moment. And there we are. So now the, the cylinder is full up to the top, right? We haven't added any extra pressure yet, but we have 2000 marbles in at the moment. OK, so now we're going to actually increase the pressure, maybe at about 3000 marbles, because don't forget this booster pad is going to add a lot of power on its own. So we don't have to go overboard here. I might actually, yeah, let, let's go to about 4,000, to be honest, because, you know, we can do it. <laughs> we can try anyway, can't we? And there we go, 4,000 marbles, guys. Now, this is going to get very, very dangerous in a second, because that booster pad, I might have to increase its power when we've paused the game, because I don't think these things are going to be held in by these blocks here. Let's pause the game. Now, can we adjust our booster pad while the game is paused? Yes, we can. So, right, let's go up to 50. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is going to be so powerful. In fact, what we could do is delete our block right now and the spawner as well. Uh, okay, there we are. Right. There we go then. 4,000 marbles. Booster pad on 50. Maximum power. That is going to be very explosive, I hope. <laughs> right, here we go then, guys. Let's check this out and see how good it really is. Three two one go whoa whoa oh my goodness wait a minute okay i've just paused the game oh my goodness they've gone so high up the whole lot i've gone right up there look at that that is unbelievable okay i didn't expect it to be that powerful oh my goodness me the whole sky is just littered with marbles up there. It looks brilliant, doesn't it? And that, by the way, guys, was sort of slow motion. <laughs> That's how fast it was. They're falling back down now as slow as the game can run them. And we're actually under the ground at the moment. Whoa, look at that. That is so cool. It's raining marbles. They're still falling down here. They're bouncing off the floor and going back up again. That was so cool. I think it's time to try our exploding banana and our exploding melon as well. So we're going to delete all that stuff now and find our banana. So decorations, uh, props here, and then we'll scroll down and there it is, our banana. Now, it's not that big, of course, but what we can do is expand it in size to make it like a giant banana. Oh, uh, there it is. <laughs> Look at this thing. That's not a banana anymore, is it? That's some kind of horn or something. Right, how's that then, guys? Is that big enough? Well, let's just see. If we just compare it to a spawner and 
we can have a look inside as well there we go unfortunately i don't think you can actually paint it transparent because it is just a banana and it can't be edited in that way no it can't but um yeah still we can we can still load it full of marbles i think so we'll just get our spawner here hmm all right let's just uh right we've put in about 83 marbles and are they inside we can't see them that's interesting but they haven't fallen out have they so they are actually inside i believe we'll just put about 300 in there and do a quick test so are they inside our banana we'll just delete it and see what happens yes oh okay okay they were kind of in the spawner for the moment right i'm gonna make this thing a bit bigger now the banana is even bigger and we've got our spawner back in now i think it's gonna work this time we'll just test it out here yes Yes, look, we can see them sort of being held in there. Oh, brilliant. Okay, that's 500 marbles inside a banana. We want to get to over 1,000, definitely, don't we? Let's just hope they don't get forced out in uh, in a minute when the pressure's too high. <laughs> but here we go. They're filling it up right to the top now. Here's the end. Oh, look at that. They're still taking up space in here. They're... Oh, okay, it's flooding the camera. They're flooding up to the camera right at the top. And are we going to see them... Oh, look, here they go. Yes, they're actually trying to get out through the banana skin. Oh, my goodness. And over here as well. You can see them up here. That's brilliant. Well, it's definitely full now, isn't it? Of course, we want to get some pressure in. So we're at 2,100 marbles. I reckon we should get to about 3,000 or maybe a bit more if we can. But it's not a big space in there. So the pressure's going to get very, very big. Let's keep going here. Let's hope they don't come out as well because the pressure's now increasing dramatically. We've got 2,500 and oh okay look at this they're, they're almost out they're trying to get out really badly <laughs> let's have a look down here as well yeah okay that's over 3,000 now we'll carry on for a bit maybe at least 4,000 if we can okay the FPS is slowing down never in my life have I ever made an exploding banana until today this is going to be great fun yeah that's over 4,000 guys should we go for 5,000 yeah go on let's do it let's do it we might as well 5,017 marbles we've got. Now, if we just take that away. I'm actually quite impressed that none of the marbles have escaped because they're trying, aren't they? Look at this. They're trying their hardest to get out, but they can't. Oh, that one's so close to getting out there, look. Right, guys, I think we're ready to... <laughs> I think we're ready to try and explode this thing. Giant banana explosion incoming. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! So, oh, when you deleted it, they were in the shape of the banana, as you'd expect. They were kind of moulded into that shape, and then suddenly, they just burst out. That is so cool, isn't it? Oh, yes. Guys, we've still got the melon to do as well, which is going to be even bigger. We're going to try now to fit 10,000 marbles inside a melon, okay? Let's give it a go. This is it, guys. This is the finale to this video. A melon stuffed full of 10,000 marbles. Now this, this better be good. This better be good because it's taken ages to set up. <laughs> All right, guys, are you ready? All right, here we go then. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, okay. Oh my goodness. Look how many there are. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. The fact that we got 10,000 in there, and they must have been pretty heavy as well, to be honest. Goodness me, guys. Guys, let me know in the comments section down below what your favourite explosion was that we made today. And also, if you've got ideas for other explosions or even just other sort of satisfying videos or little challenges you want me to try and do. I'd love to hear from you all and I do read every single comment. And I do have other plans for videos, you know, of a similar style to this where we try out different things and, and see how much fun we can have and how much chaos we can cause as well. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. And if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button as well i'd really appreciate it very much cheers guys and see you next time bye for now